Hey there. Hope you're having a good day. Today we're talking about file structure. I'm going to share some things I've learned as I've learned Unreal, good ways to organize your files. I know this is not the most exciting topic, but it is important. If you start with a good foundation in organizing your files, you won't reach points to where you give up on a project just because it's disorganized. And you might have already had that happen if you're watching this video. I'm going to share ways that I organize my projects, kind of give you an idea of the process that I go and why I do it this way, and uh, hopefully give you ideas on how you can organize your projects, because my way might not work for you, it may not be how you think, but you need to have a way, you need to have a methodology to how you're organizing stuff. Um, so let's go in and get started content folder it's not for you don't put anything in this content folder aside from a single file named according to the project you're working on the reason why i say that when i started in unreal i wanted to make this content folder my root folder and put things like characters animations levels all of that stuff into this folder and i fought all of these different like for instance mega scans puts a folder in here and starts putting its stuff in there it does it without asking you kind of rude if you ask me anytime you download marketing place content it's going to stick it in this folder so don't use this folder as your root this folder is not for you okay it's not your folder you need to give it up Create a folder named according to your project. That's the first thing I always do. The next thing I do is, depending on the project, I will consider what things in that game are central to the game. In other words, if I'm making a role-playing game, characters would be an essential part of the game. Items would be essential to the game so I, I think about those big things the big things that are gonna be in my game and I make folders for each of them I also make a controls I make a controls folder I make a maps folder okay you might have more than this if you have more things in your game that are kind of core to it but that's step two make your make your folders where you're gonna put all your stuff and then let's talk about why specifically for items and characters I do it this way and how these can grow. So within my items folder, I've got this item. Okay. Let's say I, this has base functionality that all items are going to have. That's why it's the main BP underscore item. I'm going to create a child class. And I'm going to call this BP underscore weapon. And then here I'm going to uh, create a child uh, BP underscore. Um, we'll just say potion. I might even call I would probably call that consumable, but it's too late now. No, I'm just kidding. We could rename it, but I'm not going to. Um, OK, so I've got the parent and its children. These have unique functionality to each other but they inherit their functionality from the parent. So this is like a family here, okay? Families like this can stay in the same folder together, just fine, no problem, no issues with organization in my opinion. But the moment I create a child class of a weapon and I call it BP underscore um, sword, right? This is when I would create a new folder, call this weapon, weapons, and I would put these in there, move them there. And so you've still got the parent is going to stay here. The parent's staying here, and then any children that don't have children, they can live in that house together. But the moment a child has a child, they need to move out and get their own place. 
and so on and so forth. If I were to create a child blueprint class of sword and I called it like BP underscore ultimate best blade ever made. And let's say I made a, um, a child blueprint of weapon and I call it BP underscore bow. Well here, um, I would have a, a new folder called sword, right? And I take the sword and its child that it had and I move it into their own house and so on and so forth. You can see how this file structure is designed so that it can just grow naturally as you develop your game. It'll only get as big and complex as your game needs it to. You don't have to worry when you start about building every single folder and getting everything. No, you just work on what you need to work on at that time and grow that file structure as your game grows. That's how I'd recommend you do it. Things like animations that aren't blueprints and that don't necessarily follow the parent-child relationship that I was talking about, these should go, in my opinion, in alongside the thing that they're attached to. So like I have an animations folder here in characters, and then I have all the animations, I have all the animation montages that relate to those characters. If your naming convention's good, you shouldn't really have to worry so much about these being super organized because guess what? When you open the animation window, everything is thrown together anyway, even if you put them into folders, um, detailed folders. Although, to be fair, you can also sort by the path, which I guess invalidates my last point, but ignore that. Um, just have a good naming convention for your animations and you should be fine. But I, I put things like that in alongside the characters. That way this folder is just a container for that stuff. I put it in and then I don't have to worry about it. I know where it is. Say I have a clothing system. I put I make a clothing folder, put all the clothing stuff in there, and so on. Anything I may make related to clothing, stick it in here. Right? Now let's say I have stuff that's more central. That's where the controls folder comes in. Here I'll put things like the game mode, the player controller, things that no matter what you're doing, you're going to have and are key elements of your game that aren't necessarily related to, in this case, items or characters. Even though they influence those things, they're not tied directly to them. Um, that's, where I, that's why I have this controls folder, is for stuff like that. You'll see I've got interfaces here, I've got my structs, I've got enums, all of which can apply to virtually anything in the game. I need to have them, but they don't directly tie to any of those other things. So I have them here in this folder called controls. Okay, That's why I have that, and I only add these as I need them. So I don't create like an enums folder until I need to create an enumeration. Then I add an enums folder. Okay, and then I also have the maps folder. Okay, so that's uh, how I organize my stuff. Hopefully you thought of some ideas that you could take and use for yourself or maybe came up with ways that you could organize your files. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and I, I sincerely hope you have a good day. Where's the outro? Where is it? Go, outro. Ugh. I'll have to put that in post. All right, guys, have a good one.